Hi folks, I'm Steve Judd, I'm a professional astrologer and this is my astrological forecast for the sign of Virgo for July 2011. One of the two calmest and quietest signs of the year. And July 2011 is going to typify that. Now if I had said that to you three, four months ago, you'd have looked at me as if I was crazy. February, March, April 2011, everything's going, going off. And 2010 particularly was an absolutely crazy year. But since April, things have calmed down. Since April, there's no new major problems. And what seems to be happening is that almost all of you now are in a position of reassessment and looking back over the first four months of 2011 and thinking, OK, A, what did I learn? B, how have I gained? C, how can I make some money on what I've learned and what I've gained? And you seem to be now in a better position to be able to move forward. Now, some of you are in a very good space and one or two of you really are not. Those one or two of you that really are not are probably those of you born around August 24th, 25th. And there can be a degree of uncertainty and confusion there. And if at any time in your life you need an astrological reading, it's if you're born at the very start of Virgo. Others of you, particularly, I think, those born in August, are entering a very favourable phase. And those of you born in the last seven or eight days of August are looking really growthful right now july very favorable month for taking a few small chances put an extra quid on the lottery if you win on 1.01 percent it's a fortunate time not so much lucky but fortunate you can cultivate fortune so as far as july 2011 goes virgo it's not the biggest month of the year by a long chalk. No need to push yourself out there. No need to project yourself. Nothing's coming in that's going to furtherly disrupt the vast majority of you. It's a month where if you just stay in the background and take advantage of opportunities, of windows of opportunity as they float across you, step through them, you'll be fine. So, July 2011, have a creative month. Well, I hope you enjoyed all that, folks. I'm Steve Judd. You're on my website, so you've obviously found my videos. Uh, my website, stevejudd.com, is changing. Who knows what's going to happen? I'm going with the flow at the moment. But I'm still one of the leading astrologers in the world. And if you want your chart done, I'm the man to do it. So if you want to find out about how you get your, your personal horoscope done with regard to both character analysis, astrolocation, past explanation, current expansion, future exploration, get in touch. Steve at stevejudd.com. Simple. All right, enjoy. Bye. And as an extra PPS, this is the last time I'm going to put this on the videos, but at the end of this month, for those of you in the UK, for those of you who are comfortable with sleeping under the stars for four or five days, in a wooded environment with standing stones and stages and music, powered by the wind and the sun, the 2011 Green Gathering. We're doing it just 30 miles from Bath. And it's going to be the world's premier event. We have Thomas Dolby. We have some very big superstars who I'm not even going to allow to tell you. Come and see it at the Green Gathering, powered by the wind and the sun. 5,000 people. It's the event of the year. Bye.